Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. If you ever photograph an event with on-camera flash, often you'll find that your on-camera flash will wash out the skin tone of the person you're taking the picture of. Now, of course, this is more common if the person has a lighter skin tone to begin with. This happened to me a year or so ago. I did a wedding and the bride had a lighter skin tone to begin with. And in combination with my strobes and on-camera flash and because she was wearing a white wedding gown, uh, it just washed out any color that was in her skin. So I had to restore that color in Lightroom. And there's a little trick I do to, uh, to do that. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how it's done. Now, I have a number of different stock images. All of them are young ladies that happen to have lighter skin tone to begin with. Now, what I would do is my editing first. So any editing I need to do, I just do it right away. In this case, since it's a stock image, the editing is done. Once the editing is done, then I'll worry about that skin and the skin tone. And to do it, I would go to masking and I'll let it detect the person. Once it detects the person, I'll click on the round circle and then I want to mask for all the skin. So I'll click facial skin and body skin right here. And then we're going to create the mask. Now, the tool I use for this is the tone curve. In masking, it's just called curve. I'll open this up, and there are four different point curves here. There's the RGB point curve. That's not the one I'm going to use. I use mainly the red and the blue. So I'll start out with the red. And when I go to the red curve, you'll notice if you look at the background of the tone curve itself, it's shaded in color. The top left-hand corner is red, and the lower right-hand corner is cyan. If I put a point right in the middle, and I drag it down, it will give a cyan tone to her skin. But if I push it up, it's going to give a little bit of a red tone to her skin, and that's what we want. We want to add back some of that kind of red that got washed out by the flash. And Often, you just don't want red. You want to add a little yellow as well. To do that, go to the blue curve, and you'll notice the top left-hand corner of the curve is blue. The lower right is yellow. So similarly, we'll put a point right in the middle, but this time we're going to drag it down because when we drag it down, we're dragging it towards yellow. Now, often I'll do it so it's too much like this on purpose because then I'll go up to the amount slider that is right here, and I'll just dial it back until it looks more natural. And then there's a before, and there's an after. You want to dial it back a little more, you can. If there's maybe a little bit too much red in there, you could go to the red curve again and just kind of pull this back a little bit. Not enough yellow, and so on. So you could just mess around with the red curve and the blue curve to get it just the way you want it. And of course, use this amount slider to uh, better dial it in. Let's try another one. I have this image here. And um, this young lady has red hair. So you would think maybe that would cause a problem. It doesn't cause a problem at all. We're going to click on the person mask. We're going to mask for her facial skin and her body skin. We're going to create the mask. Again, I'm in, on the red curve already. So I'll just click right in the middle. And I'm just going to push it up. I'm pushing it up towards the left-hand corner. Adding a little red to her skin. And I'll go to blue. And I'll click on put a point right in the middle, and then move that down towards yellow. Again, it's way too much. So I'll just go to this amount slider and just back it off till it looks more natural. And so on. I'll go to this next one. And again, her you know skin tone's very bright. It's a little bit overexposed, actually. But let's just say I wanted it overexposed for whatever reason. I'm trying to do some type of high key thing. So I'll go with uh, facial skin, body skin. I'll click Create Mask. Again, now I'm on the blue already, so I'll stay here and I'll just put a point right in the middle and move it towards yellow. And then I'll go to the red and I'll move that towards red. And again, you could fine tune it with the amount slider. And there's before and there's after. Now, if you ever feel the need, you can't really get it quite right. It just doesn't look right. You could go to green. And green has green in the top left-hand corner and magenta in the lower right. 
And from here, you could try to, you know, maybe add a little magenta or something like that. But in this case, I don't think I have to. But you could try it. Um, but in this case, as I, as I mentioned, I rarely ever will go to the green. I don't usually feel that I need to. So again, it's going to detect the person. We'll click on the person. We'll click on facial skin, body skin. We'll click on create mask. Um, we'll go to the red, put a point right in the middle, push it towards red. We'll go to the yellow, put a point right in the middle and pull it down towards yellow. It looks a little bit too strong. So we'll go up to the amount slider and just tone her down. And then we'll go before, after. It kind of add that kind of like healthy glow back to her skin that got eliminated by the seamless paper white background with lights blasting on it and of course the flash blasting on her as well so it kind of washed out her skin tone a little bit. Uh, this method is what I use all the time uh, to do this. It works well. You get used to it. What I often find too is if I'm editing a long time like I am editing a huge wedding um, I'll do that. I try to edit everything all at once but I won't share uh, the images yet. Like I'll walk away and let my my eyes rest and my brain kind of reset, and then I'll come back and look at things. And often, um, I'll still have it too strong, and I'll have to go to the amount slider and pull it down. Uh, that's just because I was fatigued because of all the editing I was doing. So be aware of that, because you sometimes might uh, make it a little bit too strong if uh, you've been editing a while, and your eyes are tired, and your brain is getting you know distracted, or you know wishes you were doing something else. So just keep that in mind. So that's it. That's my stupid little Lightroom trick that I do to kind of restore uh, the color and tone to someone's skin. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.